at all my hair. Gee, Dad, who are all those good-looking fellows with Mom? Lulu, those good-looking fellows are me. But you don't have hair, Dad. Did you think I was born bald, Lulu? Isn't everyone? <sighs> I used to have a lot of hair, but I lost it all about the same time you were born. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to have hair again. Hmm. Hi, Tubby. What are you doing? Trying out my new chemistry set. I'm making, um... Well, I don't know what I'm making yet. Whoa! Pretty neat, Tubby. But do you think we can invent something that could grow hair on my father's head? I bet we could. Let's check out the fridge for ingredients. We definitely need some eggs, because they're good for your hair. And flowers will help, because all good shampoos smell like flowers. And broccoli, because if we don't use it now, I'm going to have to eat it for dinner. Shoo, kitty! Ugh. We're in business! Let's surprise him! Boy, will my dad be surprised when he wakes up and finds... His head's turned blue! Your dad's head turned blue! Lulu, what did you do? I didn't do anything, Tubby! You put it on his head! Oh, we gotta get it off! <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> George! What? What is it? Your head! It's blue! My head! It is blue! It's blue! Lulu Moppet and Tubby Tompkins! Oh. What is going on here? Huh? Uh, uh, Mr. Moppet's head is blue? Oops, I can see that. Now, what are you two trying to hide? Let's see your hands. I guess you could say you caught us blue-handed. <laughs> if I can't wash it off, I'll have to cover it. Bring all of it upstairs, Tubby. Uh, okay, Mom! Now down the drain it goes. Oh, oops! Oh. Sorry, kitty. Boy, I don't see why everyone's so upset. At least Dad didn't turn green. Tubby? Hair. I'm not bald. I have hair. Tubby, Lulu, your hair tonic works. It actually works. Hair? How do we get some of that hair? Well, we have to make some more hair tonic first. Then let's get over to Tubby's house so you can whip up a new batch. This is great. We'll give you a lift. Two drops. Uh, one drop. We gotta get it right, Tubby. Ow! Careful of my hair, Lulu. Sorry, Tubby. Hey! Does it seem like our hair is still growing? Oh, you poor kitty. Boy, I wonder if we'll win one of those Nobel Prizes for this. Or even better, a new bike! Lulu! Tubby! Come up here! My hair won't stop growing! Forget the tonic! Work on an antidote! I don't want that much hair. Let's get out of here. What we make has to do the opposite of what the tonic's already done. So instead of growing hair, it has to get rid of it, right? Then all we have to do is put in the opposite of what we put in before. Okay, uh, what's the opposite of eggs? A plucked chicken. And the opposite of sweet-smelling flowers? Is stinky extra old cheese. Now the opposite of yesterday's broccoli is... Today's broccoli. This is it! <gasps> there! Now to test it! We've done it, Dad! Hold on! Yahoo! I'm bald! 
Bald as an egg, bald as a melon, bald as a keel ball. I'm back to normal. Thank you, Lulu. Thank you, Tubby. Gee, Dad, you look better without hair anyways. Come back here, kitty. <laughs> Being bald isn't so bad. But if there was only a way I could lose some of this weight. 